Update 3 on Typhoon Neoguri, which has rapidly intensified to become a Category 4 typhoon, with winds of 130 miles per hour and a pressure of 937 millibars. Its position is 16.7 degrees north, 135.8 degrees east, as of 2 p.m. UTC on July the 5th, and the storm threatens to become a real major problem for uh, the islands of Japan and further points north. It's expected to become a Category 5 super typhoon in the next 48 hours, and it could remain that strong, possibly up to a, a potential landfall in Okinawa. We could possibly even see Category 5 conditions there. Uh, the storm is then expected to curve to Towards the northeast uh, and making landfall on the mainland islands of Japan, uh, possibly as a Category 4 storm for the island of Kyushu, and then moving inland uh, still as a typhoon. That's what we're currently looking at at the moment. Sea surface temperatures where the storm's located still boiling hot and that's the reason why it's done so well so far, uh, the main reason at least anyway, and more intensification is on the cards too. It's had just a little bit of a lapse in the past six hours or so but intensification may resume at any time. The forecast models, the computer models, the CMC first of all has the storm curving towards the north at basically what the track forecast said in terms of where exactly it dives a little bit towards the west uh, moving over the Miyako Islands and then just uh, glancing the northern coast of Japan. The GFS model I think takes it just a little bit further east in between uh, the Miyako Island and Okinawa by the looks of things and then moving towards the north and then kinking to a turn towards the northeast sorry uh, moving over Japan. Uh, and also you may have seen another storm forming behind that too in the open Pacific waters. This is the latest satellite imagery then, you can definitely see the eye of course. Um, it looks a little bit ragged at the moment, uh, but I think it should get itself sorted out very soon. Next 24 to 48 hours I think we'll see a more pronounced eye um, and a stronger one at that as well. The eye wall still trying its best to wrap itself around the storm and I think that will continue to become more solid and um, obviously um, a stronger storm as well. Uh, very strong thunderstorms and probably the strongest of the winds to the uh, directly to the south of the center of the storm uh, that's probably the strongest part of the eye wall at this present moment so around the world right now we have tropical depression douglas which is on its uh, way to becoming a remnant low arthur has turned extra tropical in the atlantic over nova scotia uh, invest 96s in the southern indian ocean the first storm of the 2014-15 season and of course typhoon neoguri which is uh, a Category 4 typhoon. 35 storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide. This is the 14th to become a Category 1 storm uh, typhoon or hurricane or whatever the equivalent is. Um, and Category 3, 115 miles per hour plus 8 of those have formed so far. This is the 8th. Um, and it could also become the third Category 5 storm of the year too. You can stay up to date with any of the storms out there, including this one, of course, on any of Force 13's six outlets. The website's the main place to be. Force13.com is the link. Uh, you can visit the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion. Just search Force 13 on any of those. Uh, you're probably on one of those right now. And um, the social networks as well, Facebook and Twitter, to search Force 13 on both of those, and you should find uh, Force 13's page. It's at Force 13 on Twitter, and you can also add Fool 13 for Tropical Weather Chat personally with myself on Skype if you so wish. The next update on this storm will follow in 12 hours time. That's 2 a.m. UTC, Sunday morning, July the 6th. That's all for now.